Hello buddies, this is Game Night. Welcome back to Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. I am so happy to be back. I know it's been a while, but you guys probably know now why. So, we're gonna carry on with another mission. And I wanted to do Kepras, because Kepra will award us with an additional tech priest. And we really need that. I feel that we are strongly in need of extra help. So, let's do this one. We'll get the Skitari Vanguard as well, and Blackstone if we make it. There's an enemy called Deathmark, and Flayed One, and Necron Warrior. Consolidation in the Acropolis Sector. Subdomina Kepra has requested aid to in taking the pressure off her Skitari troops. Collapsing key areas of the Tomb of Acropolis will hinder enemy movement and stop them from overwhelming the Skitari. Let's launch that one. Alright, we're gonna bring... We're gonna bring those two and those, because we don't have anything else. So we did get one more of these. Uh, we can get gain three cognition points. That is so good. So this is once... Next physical attack will deal plus nine. <laughs> that is insane. We got that on that one. Plus five movement. Chant of the craft. Plus six. Let's get that one. Because then we have some healing, some extra physical damage. Oh, okay. Good thing I checked that. And then we have the uh, blessing for cognition. All right, here we go. Wish me luck, guys. And remember to submit your name in the comments down below if you haven't already. I'll see you in there. You do not relish this mission, Sir Dominic Ebra. I ascertain this from your pupil dilation and nervous system stress levels. Even in victory, the men and women on the ground suffer, but that is not something I imagine troubles a Magus. Some tech priests choose to exercise the emotional centers of their brains, especially when they reach the rank of Magus. I did not. I have fought on the plenty of Magi, who had no emotion at the loss of men and women in combat. I'm glad to know I'm not doing that again. I'm capable of quarantining emotions in my neural vaults and choose to experience them if they are beneficial. I am not ruled by them, but I am not ignorant of them either. That is why casualty rates on missions under my commands are 11.7% below the average. I'll take that as a good omen. <laughs> Indeed. So, Dominic Kepra, how goes your attempt of establishing a foothold on the Silver Tenebrius with your main forces? Operations in the Tomb of Acropolis are continuing, Magus. Um, the enemy is pressing our perimeter hard. It is impossible to explore the tomb if all my troops are tied up, keeping themselves from being overrun. I see. The enemy is aware of our presence. It seems like it. They are not just attacking at random. The Necrons are exerting pressure at the key points, hoping we will falter. Logic demands a response. Ignoring this predicament invites defeat. Your solution? With your help, collapse the tomb on them first. Alright then. We'll do that. I have plotted four locations in the tomb of Crocus. If these are made impossible with demolition charges, the Necrons won't have to run. Well, have the run of their tomb anymore. My cohort will see this done. 
once the key points are blocked, the Necrons will be funneled towards our crossfire. They will spend a lot more lives testing our defenses. I'm not certain the Necrons will be accurately said to have lives. Well, whatever they have, they are going to lose a lot of them. Power, probably. Deployment number four. Let's go there. Row. Oh, God. Dude, I don't have a row. Let's use uh, Teresius, this one. Justice of my chastisement of the manuals on the Castius Metallican will follow. Failure of maintenance observations inexcusable. The detonator of this charge appears to be a dud. Some menials must have neglected to perform the required anti-corrosion rites. Replace, use a replacement detonator in the hope that the whole batch is not defective. Attempt to replace the corroded parts of the charge with the cohort's technology. Or use force. Detonate it. That's gonna make noise. That's gonna take time. But I think we need to repair in this case. The cohorts use tech rights to replace the corroded wires and bless the work with the tap of the anointed Fnumo wrench. <laughs> Nyomo wrench. The detonator worked perfectly, vindicating their faith in the teaching of the Omnishar. Two CPs. That's great when we need to go. Oh my god. We need to go there, but we need these, right? Support Kepra. Yeah, I think we need to go there. Oh, a glyph. Okay. This panel controls a heavy door leading to a treasure room. Um, no hints there. Oh, two hit points. Okay. A container of sort that seemingly has raw binary seething within. Clearly, it is of Xena's origin. Sparks of data leak through the aged sealant used to contain the treasure within, and he gets healed, which we didn't really need. That doesn't increase our awaken level, though. So, could we... Where is it we can click? There? No. No. There? No, that's just the initiative advantage. Okay, so we can go for the glyph or just go straight to that area. I am more inclined to go straight for that area. Presence detected. The explosive charge is put in place, but minuscule necron scarab constructs emerge from apertures in the wall. Evidently intent on devouring the explosive before they can go off. Block the apertures to prevent any more scarabs emerging. Destroy the scarabs before setting the explosives or explosive haste. Hurry the setting of explosives so that they are ready before the scarabs can do any damage. And then kill them. Hmm. Let's block it. Ow! The cohort used sealing compounds to fill the holes from which the tiny scarabs are scuttling. The troops, the trooper who elects to perform this deed suffers dozens of small bites as the scarabs try to devour him. But thankfully, their attentions are taken off the explosives long enough for them to be successful set. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Go there. Fascinating. Could this be some event from the distant history of the Necron race? I've heard rumors of such mythology among the theories about the Necrons, but confirming it could be a breakthrough. On the wall of this chamber is inscribed a complex design resembling a star map, but the stars are depicting 
uh, depicted being consumed by ill-defined entities of swirling light and shadow. Stop to thoroughly examine the inscriptions before information archive. Yeah. Let's erase it. Aw. All units take one. The cohort opens fire in the inscription, ribbling the images apart. A burst of radiation floods the chamber and contaminates the cohort, who must withdraw before they are fatally irradiated. Sorry. Irradiated. So do I need these, or do I just go, like, you know? They see us. Because I think those are just events, you know? But I'm not sure. Let's do them. Anyway, it's not a big tomb. The Skitara troops holding the Tomb of Acropolis are suffering communication glitches, and one unit has run a cable to their command post to stay in touch. This cable runs across the chamber ahead, and it is obvious it has become severed potentially cutting the unit off from the rest of the Skitari forces. Ignore the cable. That is the Skitari unit's problem, not yours. Fix the cable best you can, or fix the cable and check the surrounding areas of the tomb to find the Skitari units and see how it's faring. I think, I think uh, Kepra would appreciate that. Holy cow. Necron initiative increased and awakening increased. The cohort repairs the cable and spends the next while searching for the Skitari troops. They find the Skitari lying dead at their post, victims of a Necron ambush. The body is seared open by gorse fire. Knowing their efforts were in vain pushes the cohort dangerously close to despair. Oh god. Don't like that. It could be worth checking this out. The damage here might give us some information on how best to bring down the target area of the tomb. The chamber ahead is partially collapsed with a dangerously sagging ceiling and appears highly dangerous. Try to bring down the whole chamber to test the placement of the cohort's demolition charges. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, okay. Plus one, but plus two CPs. We are prepared, guys. I might as well check the cliff. Like, we're already boosting this. A single port designed for a Necron kind of tech creature extrudes from the device. Holy cow, man. Ow! Oh no, he healed! Oh! <clears throat> okay. It didn't really say why and what. Or what, how. I don't... Three. Almost four. We, I think we haven't been at four. So we're gonna be at four before we end... Extra Necrons, oh my god. Several Necron skulls are carved into the walls of this chamber, all arranged looking at the central pedestal holding a globe. Scrutinize the Necron faces, move quickly through the chamber without paying its grotesque decorations any mind. Inspect the globe. The globe represents Silver Tenebrius itself, within the tomb's valley location picked out in silver. Before any further intelligence can be gleaned, however, the eyes of the Necron heads fire a fusillade of metal darts into the chamber. The cohort are caught in the trap before escaping the room, suffering several injuries in the process. But we didn't lose any health? <clears throat> okay. That's great. Battle.
Lots of scarabs is what I see. One of those immortal guys. Oh, hey, Red, it's this. Life forms, sudden appearance on aspects, unexpected. Diagnosis, possible tech, form list, plus teleportation, plus war trouble, plus unknown. God dang it. This is no form of war travel. The tele te te telepathic uh, aboard has reported no disturbances near the planet the whole time we've been here. What the heck is there? Ultimate dimensional shift. Teleportation unknown. Oh, that's row. Teleportation tech too volatile. No sign, power signs. No lightning. No siege marks. Singe marks. Tomb too deep for teleportation. Ultimate dimensional shift unknown. We know there is only <clears throat> the Unitarium and real space. Scriptures have written about only these two for millennia. No to conclusion. Unknown. Locked. Disappointment. Decide for answers must be fulfilled. Survive four rounds. Yeah, okay. Art Maximus. God, I love that damage. <laughs> Like, if I reduce that... Wait, we can set... Oh, yeah. We need a couple of these. What is that? I don't know what that is. It has health. Uh, we're going to put one down there. And one down there. And then start. Because that was what I thought was going to happen. Holy. Face shifting. And all watching. Because why not? Oh, nice. Good opportunity. Good opportunity. It's gonna give us one more. It's fine. And kill him. But give us one more. Holy cow. Okay. Really bad with the melee here, guys. Delay. I'm gonna need to take that shot, aren't I? I think I am. Wait, this is free. This is free, so I could shoot that one. Still gonna leave him with one missing if, if I even kill it. I need to get those guys away. This is going to hurt. Three damage. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That one dies.
and then no uh, then we shoot that one die please no no if you move there and then there and then all the way down here problem is if he can phase shift every single turn but maybe just maybe he'll need to do that the first turn and then it'll be fine I'm just gonna repair right now oh four nice Nice heal. And then enter. I'm going to take that hit. Ow. Can't shoot him. I can shoot him if I move there use that and blow him away oh did he die he died holy cow I got him three we gotta grab one more and then we can summon some more ow okay heal next turn Oh no! Oh, thank the Lord they didn't get to shoot. That was... That was pretty lucky. Move him there. Hit him. It's good. I could have used that, but it's fine. Need three. Need three. So we delay. I am gonna go scan this one. Way too black still. Very, very nice. Move there. Shoot that. Oh! Deals AoE. Ow. Sorry. Unfortunately, that doesn't give me any cognition points because otherwise that could have been pretty cool. Uh, let's wait. He's going to get shot twice, hopefully. Yes, nice. Because the three there is going to give us the opportunity to actually shoot the other guy. So I could use the canticle here. And then he should get blown away. Very good. That's fine. Oh wait, I didn't kill I didn't kill the death mark. Oh my god. I almost almost just forgot. Oh, and he didn't die. I'm actually gonna go heal him. There. Sweet. Maybe he can stand against one more shot.
Move him there. Damn asset. Holy cow. That is not good. Alright, let's move him there. Take down that one. Just let him stay there. Uh, we can move him over there. Let's grab that one. And then grab that one as well. And we can see him from there. Sweet. Kill him now, please. Yes. So very good. Uh oh. Oh my god. Well, that wrecked him. How many rounds was that? Okay, one more. One more. Need to go wreck this guy. go I think also because we get we do get points for each of these we take down but we're fine now ho 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 so if you get to the five enemies will reanimate the turn after they get destroyed Yeah, this is not good. This is not good. We have one round. Oh my god, I still need to kill all enemies. Well, you move there. Shoot him. Holy smack and doodle do. He, well, he died. And repair. Very nice, our bug. Very nice. Alright, Draco. Let's move you a bit closer. I don't think he can reach yet. I'm going to use that right away get three and then hopefully we can get them to gather a bit and then we can do some AOE on them if I delay he should be able to shoot me so I'd rather move down there. Maybe there. And hope that they move closer without shooting anyone. Yeah, cool. Full health. I think Draco can actually move. What does it do? Area damage. Area size increased. There. Should hit them both. <laughs> that looked cool. Alright, move there. Because I need to keep in mind that they need to die. Like right when I shoot them. Let's delay. 
Ah, god dang it. Four damage. Come on. At least he repairs. Oh, I can actually hit. Wow, look at that. It's 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 a really big cone. This is a good good gun. I take it back. It's free and it's good. All right, let's shoot. But no one died. That is bad news for me. Now I could move there to go for the kill. Yeah, I think so. We still have the heal we can use. Come on. How much can he take? Are you kidding me? I think I need to heal here. Thankfully, they couldn't shoot. All right, please kill that one. We get the cognition, but that does that mean that he can't reanimate? I'm thinking no, which is pretty bad. Oh, grab all the cognition. This is, this is not good. That re reanimation timer is, is really hurting me right now. Can you shoot him from here? Oh my god, look at that range. Okay, so at least he's dead. Yep. Very good. Good job, our bug. Take the hit, Draco. It's fine. It's fine. You're gonna be fine. Technically, you just... Uh flesh wound. Critical? But he didn't die? Are you kidding me? He didn't die from that. What is he? Just a... Yeah, just a normal warrior. Oh my god. Please don't. Six. All right, grab it. Can't fire. Oh, <clears throat> I can grab that. And move but I can't really do anything yeah I should have delayed at least we got that <clears throat> the repair and then we heal On himself. Mm. Now it's a tempting target to go for those, but I think if I can kill him, it's going to be worth more. 
because it's definitely not gonna kill those guys. And instead, I can move over there. I can move... I cannot move there. Okay. So I can move there. For the one cost. And strike him. What was it that did? Okay, three cognition. Yeah, we got this. We got this. And then heal. Man, wh what would I have done without the heals? All the heals for the win. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Dang you, four. At least we get the opportunity attack. No, it didn't it didn't kill him. So he could crit and kill him. So close. Alright, here we go. So what we need to do is we need to go here. And shoot him. Wait. That one first. Shoot him. Nice. Then I need to go there. And heal. And then we use this one. First time I've used all three. There we go. And he's gonna be at seven. Oh my god, the AoE when it's machine spirited. That is insane. And then we move here. I really hope he kills him now. He didn't. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. No worries, we get the attack of opportunity. Uh-oh. But that didn't kill him either? No. Oh, shit. No, you didn't. You killed Draco. <sighs> he killed Draco. That's not good. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. I need to... Was this Iron Man mode? Did I, did I really? God dang it. Hold on. Oh, hi, Mark. I found a temporal anomaly or something. Call, call it whatever. <laughs> I reloaded. <clears throat> uh, because I, I, th that I can't live with. Can't live with them being so freaking lucky. I'll use the canticles still, as I did before. And that should kill him. Awesome. And then I should be able to... Okay, they die. Good. No threats. <clears throat> that was a bit better ending. I played it a bit more safe. <clears throat> Mission complete. The last demolition charge brings down another section of the tomb. The most heavily used routes around the tomb are now cut off, and the Necrons will be forced to fight the Skitari terms from now on.
Servants of the Omnishar will live now. Who would otherwise die, Magus? My thanks for sending your tech priest to the aid of my troops. We will not profit nothing in this world if our troops on the ground cannot keep the tombs open until we can ascertain the tr threat they contain. It is simple logic, Subdomina. Maybe, but nevertheless I thank you. Few Skatari have much reason to expect a tech priest to come to their aid so directly. We are used to being disposable. My emotional cause return dismay and anger whenever a Skitari is described as disposable. No one is disposable, as long as they do the Omnishar's work. Thus, it is written. Cool. That's actually nice, seeing a bit of uh, feelings from... Oh, I should have healed. From the uh, tech priest there. Wow. That gave a lot. Guitar Vanguard. Ow! 6% extra. Alright. And one additional tech priest, guys. Leonardus. But we're gonna change his name and we're gonna pick one of your names. I'm gonna do that with a simple dice roll. Here we go. Three. And then I count for um, the top of my list. One, two, three. That would be Aiden. Aiden, you get to be named Magus, and that was Sariel. Oh, Sariel, there. Magus Sariel, welcome. So, what do we give you? Definitely, definitely. I want to give you the heal <laughs> because it's so good. Mm, I do like this little one here. So, what should we upgrade with? Single troop, your next weapon attack mission cost is reduced by two. That is what we're going on, Art Bug. Generate one cognition points if the gauge is empty, though. Collect all. That is good. Hmm. I think we're going to go range with him as well. Yeah. Mm, machine spirit, okay. Let's use that one. I'm I'm a bit like if we Command fire all troops in range, attack selected target. Wow, that is pretty cool. That is the secutor. That is that is pretty cool. Combine that with the range. Okay. 462, let's give him the range as well, and then give Volkite Blaster. I think that is what we can do, right? Two, three. For now. Omnispex. Our 
bug physical armor or unlock plus one energy armor plus three hit points plus three movement two hit points at one energy armor one energy damage what did I grab there the beard Yeah, let's go with this. Plus two energy armor. That's right. 165, and we have one extra capacity. So we could give... Immobilize, or... That, or we could give this one, all physical attacks. Gain plus two physical damage from one round. Cost one cognition. I mean, I feel I need... I need this on him. Yeah. What about Draco? Can we upgrade him? No, 180. But we can upgrade you. And into Secutor. Plus three hit points. Plus four hit points. Plus two hit points and 20% skill uh, critical hit chance. That sounds awesome. Grab that. Very nice gloves. There you go, Soriel. Oh, uh, mission? No tech yet? No. New deployment. Kepra. Cognition gauge max size increased by one, and we get the Rust Stalkers. But now we also have Ro and Lord Astronomer. Captrix, what is that? Troop deployment cost is reduced by 30%. Whoa, 107 and a power field generator? And the eradication ray. Fires a straight line passing through all units. We have deployments on all of them. Skitaria ranges. Gorse Gamma Pistol. Attacks ignore armor, deals 46 damage. Oh, this is... Cenorites. So this is the DLC mission. That is one of the DLC missions. Ooh. Plasma Culverin. Fights a straight line passing through all enemies, 6 to 8. Energy damage destroys one energy armor. With machine spirit, destroy three energy and physical armor. Yeah, this was a bit higher, but yeah, it's like the, this is the upgrade of the one we already have, and this is a quite a different one. Skitari, cognitive canister. Well, I'll, uh, I'll look into one of these next time. Uh, not sure which one. I'm still thinking easy, and this one could be preferable because we get the cognition gauge max size increased, and that is something that is very, very useful, I would say. We'll see next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, you'll join me next time. Submit your character names in the comment section down below. And let me know what you thought of this episode. I'll see you guys soon. Have a wonderful game night.